Oh, man. Let me tell you something. This was hilarious. So we've been waiting a long time for the rematch. Juan Ma Lopez versus Wilfredo Vasquez Jr. Two Puerto Rican standouts. But boy, oh boy. Vasquez came out strong in the first four or five rounds. Started to fade a little bit around the six. Juan Ma started to pick it up, landing some nice clean shots. Even buckled him once, twice. Woo! And let me tell you something. Going in the 10th round, I said, okay, it looked like they're really close. I mean, it's going to be a close fight. 11th round, he hit on a couple of shots, and he just started throwing punches. And then Vasquez went down. The ref waved it off. I mean, it was accumulation of punches, not like he was knocked down on his feet. The ref didn't even give Vasquez a chance to even get up. I mean, I mean, this fight was like, could have been like dead even or something like that. And, and and I was like, wow. I said, they gave Wama this fight. I mean, they didn't give Vasquez a chance to get up. Next thing I know, I did something. I looked up for a second and shook my head and I looked up. And I see Wama throwing punches at some old guy. I like, is he like, I'm like, is he just trying to give him that? Like, yeah, we did it. We did it. And I'm like, man, he throwing rights, lefts, hooks. Come to find out, the commentary is like he's fighting. Vasquez is trainer now. I said, oh, my God. I said, Walmart's trying to knock out the man's trainer now. And then after they separated him, then he went back and jumped right in Rafael Vasquez Jr.'s face and started drawing off to him. I said, woo. I said, this is personal. This is some bad blood right here. Man, you need, y'all need to check out. If y'all can get the uh, the highlights of the stream, y'all need to see that. Walmart unstopped. Vasquez Jr. in the 11th round and then went around and beat up his trainer. Uh, he tried to beat up his trainer. Whew, them Puerto Ricans. Y'all leave your thoughts and comments below.